Hello everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadaver.com and today I'm going to show you some basic 2D animation programs that are used to add a bones armature to your 2D characters so you can animate them. You can then use them in video games or cartoons or whatever you want. So let's get started. This program is a free open source program called Dragon Bones. There'll be a link in the description below. Um, it's a relatively easy program to use. Basically all you do is click New Project, Create an Animation, and then you can click any of these. It doesn't really matter whatever one you want to use. And then uh, I'm going to use Custom and Finish. I'm going to go up to File, Import Assets to Stage, and then I'm going to select the uh, pieces to my character and click open. Once I have the character pieces on my stage, I'm going to use this move tool down here at the bottom to move the character into position. So the head will go up here. This is the body. This part right here is the right leg, which you can see it listed over here at the side. This is the left leg, which should be in the background. And then this is the right arm. So we can see that these, the left leg and left arm should be behind the body. So we're going to have to go over here and right click and push or send backwards. So send backwards, right click again, send backwards, right click again, send backwards. Now it's behind the body. We're going to have to do the same thing with the other, the arm. We're going to have to go over here, right click, send backwards, right click one more time, send backwards and now it's behind like it's supposed to be. Next we're going to start adding the bones. So we'll click here up the top, create bone, click drag on the body and stop on the body. With that bone selected, click on the head and then end on the top of the head. Select this bone right here, click on the arm and then end on the arm. Select the center bone again. Click on the top of the arm and drag to the bottom of the arm. Select this center bone again. Click on the top of the leg. Drag to the bottom of the leg. Select the center bone again. Then click on the top of the leg. Drag to the bottom of the leg. Now go down to the bottom and select the move tool. Grab the bone and move it upwards. Grab this other bone, move it upwards. Grab this bone and move it inwards. And this bone and move it inwards. Now these two we're going to go ahead and select the rotate tool down here at the bottom. And then we're going to Rotate the arm, select this one, rotate the arm, and now our character is completely fully rigged. And if we want to, we can actually go and click the animation tab at the top and go into here and animate the character and move it around and make it walk and do all different kinds of things. And as you move, different limbs and you use left click to select on the timeline, it'll create movements. And these are basically similar to the uh, Flash program's keyframes. And that's as easy as it is to set up an animation rig inside of uh, Dragon Bones. So next I'll show you how to use um, Spryder and some of the basic tools I use in it. So we'll go ahead and close this out. We're not going to save it. Okay, now we're inside of Spryder and it's pretty easy to set up a Spryder project as well. 
and this is a uh, paid software program. You'll go up to File, New Project. It'll ask you to select a folder which contains the artwork you are using. So I'm going to click OK. I am going to navigate to my artwork folder. And I have it saved in the bot folder. Click Select. And now you can see it's generated a list of all of the images which were inside of that folder. So I'm going to put the left arm down first, left leg, because they're going to be in the background. Then I'm going to drag out the body, the right arm, and the right leg, and then lastly the head. Now after I have all of this stuff out on the screen, we can go ahead and rotate the arms and get them adjusted. Now you can see that they're rotating from this pivot point over here. Well, it's actually better if I get this pivot point in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where the arms, legs are listed, double click on them, and then I'm going to make it the center top is where the pivot point's going to be. So I'm going to click right here, click OK, and do that on every single one of these. Go OK, center pivot point, which is that one right there. OK, center pivot point right here. OK. Now you can see now the pivot point is actually right here, and if I rotate the arm, it rotates from this new pivot point. So that's more like what we need for animating this. So I'm going to move these inward. Move this one inward. Make sure I have everything in the right place. That's a leg. That's a leg. Head. Arm, arm, all right. So everything's where we need it to be. I'm going to go ahead and uh, place the pivot point at the head down here at the bottom. You can click and drag it from here or you can do it over here. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to rotate the head so that's more straight up and down, make it a little bit easier to animate. Now after I have all this set up, what I'm going to do is create a bone. And to create a bone, you click Alt plus left click. So if I hold down Alt and drag upward, it creates a bone. Do the same thing again. Drag upwards, creates another bone. Select the center bone again, which is the uh, main body bone. Click, drag. Do the same thing on this. Click, drag. Select that center bone, hold down Alt, left click, drag, and the same thing again. Now, unlike on um, dragon bones, you can see that the bones don't automatically attach. So if I try to, for example, rotate this bone, it'll rotate the bone, but it won't actually rotate the uh, character uh, that's behind there. So what I need to do is I actually need to attach it to each one of these. So if I select the bone and then hold down B and then select the head, now if I rotate it, you can see that now the head moves. So I'm going to do the same thing on all the other bones. I'm going to select the bone first, hold down B, then select the artwork. And then I'm going to test it. Control Z to unmove. I'm going to do the same thing to the body. Hold down B, select the body. Select the arm, hold down B, select the character's arm. Do the same thing on this, hold down B, select the leg, select the, uh, the bone, hold down B, and select the leg. So now I can move 
all my characters parts around and animate it. So now that I have that all set up, it's as easy as going down to the timeline, selecting a spot that you want to animate to, and then move the leg, and now it's set a keyframe. So now the keyframe will allow you to animate the character. And you can just move this wherever you want to on the time frame. And you can uh, do some uh, different types of adjustments and stuff down here. I'm not going to go over all these features in this video. Uh, this is just a basic introduction. Now, if you want to, you can duplicate this layer and keep this as a default layer. So we could go over here and do a clone. After selecting that layer, clone it. Now, if I go down to this layer and I rotate the head, if I go back up to the layer above it, the head is not rotated. So this is your default layer. That way, if you mess up, you can go back to this default layer and nothing has changed. And it's really handy to have a default layer so that you can go back to the original settings. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer for right now because I don't need it. Um, another interesting thing is if you select a bone, you can actually go over here to where this little uh, knob is and you can move it around and it'll move the character's legs and arms. Or you can select the bone and you can use this right here, which is this number slider thing. Or you can type in specific numbers. I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Um, that's pretty much all there is to animating inside of this program. It's relatively simple, just as Dragon Bones is. And uh, I'll do another tutorial on this software uh, once I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, so anyhow, most of the animation software I use, uh, as far as like doing the cartoon characters, I uh, use a lot of free open source software from uh, Blender 3D to Inkscape. And this right here is a uh, project that I'm working on in Inkscape. And then I'm going to uh, bring it into some other uh, game development software, probably uh, Click Team Fusion or maybe uh, a Flash software or maybe even Unity. But um, anyhow, I hope, hopefully this was a good tutorial and uh, helped you learn some of the basics. I'll uh, do a couple more tutorials later if you want me to. Uh, make sure to hit the uh, like button and uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. Every uh, subscription helps. Thanks.